Good afternoon from Saskatchewan. My name is Liza with Zen. Welcome back to Last Plays, and we are continuing with Hollow Knights. Okay, so I'm in Dirtmouth, and I got 500 geos, and there are charms I could probably buy with it from the charm seller down in the Forgotten Crossroads. But I think what I actually want to do is I really want to save up for that key because I'm getting into places that are more dangerous and where I can just end up killing myself over and over. Um, so the ability to um, the ability to recall my corpse, which is in a roundabout way what that key gets me. Um, yeah, I've been spoiled for that. Uh, <laughs> Anyway, I'm going to go put this 500 Geo in the bank so that at a future date I can save up another 400 Geo and then have 900 Geo to get the key with. Also, there's other stuff I want to do at Queen Station, so... It's all around handy this way. Actually. What do I have? Balder Shell, Wayward Compass, Gathering Swarm, Steady Body. Oh, wait. I could get another notch because I have ten charms. I could get another notch from the... You know what? I changed my mind. I totally know what I'm doing. Shut up. I know what I'm doing at all times. I'm a professional gamer and I know what I'm doing. Shut up. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. Wee. Wee. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Fuck you. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. There we go. Fucking getting in my way. Yeah, fuck off right into the sun. There we go. I'm all loaded up. Zappy, zappy. Wee. Boing, boing, boing. Oh, that was... That's exactly how that should go. No, god damn it. Okay. Jump. Seeps lifeblood and will certainly in improve your constitution. Oh, look! Exactly! Exactly 500. Now... Let's see here. Steady body, meh. Uh, let's go with Soul Catcher. Actually... There we go. I like that. I like that loadout. That's a good loadout. Okie dokie. 
The next place I want to go is actually... Queen's Junction. So I'm basically backtracking my steps here. Because as I was saying, there was other stuff besides banking that I wanted to do. One of those things is there was a bit that I was pretty sure I could only get through get to through wall jumping, which I can do now. Hmm. I'm on my way to collecting another mask. Oh, that's awesome. That is so awesome. The other thing I wanted to do was um, there's a bit on the map. There's a bit on the map that I'm pretty sure I can only reach through wall jumping, which I haven't explored yet. So I'm gonna do that. Oh, good job. Oh, look, moin. Okay, nope, that does nothing. It's down this way. Oh, hell. Try that again with less stupid. I'm gonna kill myself. Well, that went terrifyingly. Oh, I'm gonna die. Yeah, that's about what that place looks like. 
Looks like it's a dead end, too. Still better go get my ghost. It sounded like there was a caterpillar there. Oops. I'm so bad at this. I am so bad at this. God damn it. Are you shitting me? Okay. There's a caterpillar down there. I do not feel like risking death and limb just for a fucking caterpillar right now. Oh yeah, I forgot about the exploding corpse. Well, don't I feel stupid. Okay, where the absolute fuck am I going? I'm going to see if I can make any progress over here. Ah. Damn it. Mm, that was dumb. That extends the bridge. 
That extends the bridge. Oh. Boing, 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 boing. Why? Uh. I'm not a very good Twitch gamer. I'm, uh, I'm better on YouTube. Ah, no, I mean, I have bad reflexes. there either way, but... Okay. Ooh. I think it's this way. Oh, good job. That's exactly what I wanted to do. Oh, no, no, I fucked up. I fucked up. I fucked up. I am continuing to fuck up. No, I'm not. go. Now I go straight. Sorry, that was... That was actually pretty funny in a fucked up way. So close. I could taste it. So close I could taste it. Oh... I kill this guy every fucking Christ. I don't know why I kill this guy every time. I just his existence annoys me. Okay, yeah, so I need to go down this way. gotten to the point where I can do this without checking the map. That's when you know you've died a lot on a certain route, is when you can do it without checking the goddamn map. Yeah. Ooh. Fuck you! Damn it! That's exactly what that trap is designed to do. I 
don't like being one down. Am I in the right place? Yes, I'm in the right place. Okie dokie. Let's try this again and try not to die. It would be really nice if I could get past this guy without fucking... Here we go again. Oh wait, I can't I can't sing that. I get DMC takedowned or whatever. No, no. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Donk, donk. Just fucking speed running through it now, boing, boing, boing. I'm not much of a speed runner. As you can tell by how absolutely shit I am at playing this game. I can't fucking do shit at normal speed. You know, I'm tempted to give up at this point because I'm never going to get there. With anything like a full life compliment, a full health compliment, because of all the fucking up I did! <laughs> the good news is I can just skip this part. Doop de 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 doop Shit. Shit, guys, the cigarettes. Congratulations if you got that ref front so close. Motherfucking or big dog biscuit. Ass inserter. Mother humping whore dog fenestration banana cream pie. Come get me, brah. Come get me. Come get me, brah. Come on, come get me. No? Oh, god damn it. Okay, I'm going to stop putting it off, 
I swear, the next thing I'm going to do is grind for Geo. Ooh. Grind for Geo to pick up the goddamn key. Okay. Let's try this one more goddamn time. Good, good job. Wow. Son of a bitch. Come on, no, come get me, God. What I may have to do, and trust me, I know this sucks. What I may have to do is grind the 900 Geo. While at half strength. Buy the goddamn key. Buy the goddamn key. And... Be able to finish sentences. God damn it. Buy the goddamn key and get my soul back without fucking dealing with the brick. Because that is a stupid place to fucking... Oh. No, you know what? I've had it. I've had it. There. That is my grinding loadout. I'm going to go grind. Now, the only question that remains is... Should I be silent while grinding, or should I talk about inconsequential bullshit, and you guys stay for the bullshit? I mean, I can absolutely talk about inconsequential bullshit. I've just been really bad about keeping silent during stuff. It makes for lousy let's plays. can buy another one. <sighs> this is not my day. This is most manifestly and clearly not my day. Actually, I just realized if that charm's broken, 
I have empty notches. with that. Okay, so that was unbelievably stupid. I have no one to blame for that fiasco but myself. I... At least I got the Geo. Oh, hey, wait. Is this one one that... No. I have no idea what's going to get me past there, but it's... Not Mantis Claw! off. Well, who the fuck told you that you could fuck with me? E everything. Everything told you you could fuck with me. I'm imminently fuckable with. I am the most fuckable with person possibly in the history of ever. On my Steam page, on my Steam page, it says... Possibly the worst at platforming in all of human history. I don't feel like that's unfair. It's occurred to me while I'm here that... Um, I've rescued some caterpillars, so, uh, that I haven't been to collect on. So, I'm going to go do that. I'm just going to check in here to see if anything's changed. Nope, it's still just a big old black egg. Big old black egg with the dreamers inscribed on it. Still don't know what the fuck that means. What the hell? I was not expecting that. I was expecting money. <laughs> I was not expecting that. Doing better for shields than, uh, yeah. I suppose I could grind in this place for a while. This place is pretty good for grinding. 
that clicking noise gets kind of annoying. I wonder what the purpose of this was when this was an actual city, you know? Like, what were all these things? I mean, probably some kind of public whoops. Some kind of public whoops. Yeah, some kind of public transport is my guess. It's funny, I've gotten so used to the Balder Charms little shell that when it doesn't come up, I was like, hey, wait, where's the... Oh, right, I don't have that equipped. Duh! Oh, God, I hope he hasn't respawned. Oh, no, duh, this isn't... This isn't that part. Oh, wait, wasn't there something up here? Yeah, there was. Oh, I'm going to go explore this. Oh, shut up. Oh, whoops. Anything over here? No. Oh. Nothing. It's weird. I hear him crying, but I can't find where it's coming from. And at one point it feels... It seems like there's two of them? It's really unnerving. Secrets? Nope. Oh well, well, at least I got some Geo out of it. I was expecting there to be more to that. Oh, goody, these assholes. Now, has this guy respawned? Nope. Actually... He's gonna see if there was more walls to jump up. Because now that I've got this power, I just want to do everything with it. Actually, it sounds like it makes me laugh because it sounds like he's saying Tetwa, which is French for shut up. <laughs> Tetwa. <laughs> so that makes me laugh. So Something that's on a mind on my mind a lot lately is fair use. I imagine you know what that is, but in in case you don't, very simply, um fair use is this concept in copyright law that basically says you can't use somebody else's work except for fair use, and fair use is considered to be things like parody, um, education, um, and I believe there's also something about transformative work in there, like the idea that if the work is sufficiently transformed, 
into a new work of art in some way. That's that's basically what covers stuff like collages or quoting someone else's poem inside your poem, which has been done by various people over the years. Or, you know, that sort of thing. And... Obviously, with the whole YouTube content thing... Content ID thing. Content ID is very bad at recognizing fair use. Well, of course it is. It's an algorithm. It makes no judgment calls at all. All it does is recognize when somebody else's stuff is being used and puts a strike on it. Now, supposedly, you're supposed to be able to get it reviewed by a real-life human being who makes a judgment call. The real-life human beings employed by YouTube... Um... Notoriously... Don't consider... Well, no, I shouldn't say that. I shouldn't say a blanking sweeping... A, a sweeping blanket statement like don't consider... Uh, transformative works to be fair use because that's not fair because they haven't actually outright said that it's just that's what their actions imply that they seem to believe because speaking from my own speaking purely from my own experience I appealed a copyright strike that I got um, specifically for two of the episodes of Triacnid. Um, uh, for those of you who have been on the channel long enough to remember that. Um, and, uh, I argued that it was, the audio was part of the game I was playing, and... A let's play constitutes fair use because it's a transformative work. And I was not given a counter argument. I was just flat out denied. I was not given any kind of justification whatsoever because basically YouTube sides with the content hold with the ID holder whenever possible. Because that's the side of which it's bread and buttered. Sorry, I'm very bitter about all this. Um, because I am a big fan of transformative works. I'm a big fan of believing in <clears throat> the power of creativity and taking a piece of media and making it into something new. And I believe that stuff like internet reviews and video essays, internet reviews, riffs, video essays, Let's Plays, all of these constitute transformative work. You know, as long as there is, like, as long as it's not just commentless gameplay footage, as long as there's some amount of creativity and extra work gone into it, which includes, you know, just some asshole talking over a game, that constitutes a creative that constitutes a creative contribution on my end. This is no longer solely the work of Team Cherry. It's the work of Team Cherry and me. I count as a creative voice in this process now. That's what I believe. And it's a gray area where the law is concerned. Well, especially since, um... Canadian copyright law has a much stronger uh, view of fair use and transformative work. Uh, U.S. copyright law, which is what YouTube functions under, as is their right because they're based in the U.S., and we all sign the user agreement that says that we're going to be held under U.S. law, and I don't have a problem with that. 
I'm not going to object to that because I can't because that's the price of doing business that's if you work with YouTube you're under US copyright law that's how it is there isn't a way around that and I begrudgingly accept that but As I said, where the law is concerned, even the U.S. law, as I understand it, let's plays are a gray area. They could be considered transformative works. They could be considered... Like, in general, the law is pretty shaky on transformative works. Um, however, YouTube has seen fit to interpret... their regulations so that transformative works are not covered. And everybody's sort of on pins and needles because it's only going to take one YouTuber deciding to take YouTuber or copyright holder to court to get a clear, unambiguous Supreme Court ruling on how transformative works are to be treated. On, and on if Let's Players count as transformative works. And basically, get it all unambiguously sorted one way or the other. And... In the current political climate, it doesn't seem very likely that the court is going to rule in favor of the content creator, of the YouTuber. Because, yeah. Um, I'm trying to put this delicately. Because the Supreme Court is currently more right-leaning, and people on the right wing left of the right wing end of the spectrum tend to rule in favor of corporations over individual artists in these matters. I think that's as neutral a way as I can state it. So, so those are the bare facts. And I'm not making a value judgment in that statement. Here's my value statement. Fuck corporations. Fuck the right wing. Fuck it. You know what? No, this isn't the time or place for that. I'm in favor of individual artistic expression. I feel like that should be clear. I'm obviously on the YouTuber side of the equation here. And I'm not saying that you can't be a YouTuber and not support corporations or... That's not what I'm saying. It's all getting muddled. I'm just saying... We don't, right now, want this to go to court. Because as it stands, it would go badly for us. That's all I'm saying. And... Um, the reason that this has come to my, my attention and come to mind is that there's been yet another case recently. I say recently, but you guys are going to watch this like six weeks from now, so it's not recent at all to you guys. Um, but recently here in the past, uh, there was a case where... Um, a YouTuber was using clips from TikTok, which is like Vine, um, and there was a company which was buying the rights to those TikToks from the individual creators and using that to sue YouTubers for using them in their videos. 
I think. I'm not 100% up. But it reminded me of how... It reminded me about how, um... And the original copyright holders went along with this because they didn't like how they were being portrayed and felt they were being made fun of. And it was all very, uh, and it was all a personal attack. And while I sympathize with that greatly, it reminded me of how some game companies will, and I'll say this outright, flat out misuse copyright strikes to get to get reviews they don't like taken down. And misusing copyright strikes is something that really boils my blood and gets me very, very angry. Because, for one, I feel like it gets used like a blunt instrument whenever possible. Anyway. In cases that are borderline inappropriate. But when your main problem is isn't actually the copyright, but when you're using it to get things you don't like taken down. Basically, when you're using it as a stick to beat people with when they're doing something you don't like, whether that's leaking information about your game or reviews you don't like or... or... you know bad business practices, like, those are all bad things, and I understand why you'd be upset about it, except for the reviews you don't like. Go fuck yourself. But, like, you know, the, the, the information getting leaked, or the bad business practices, or what have you. There are channels to deal with that, just because YouTube YouTube content strikes are easy and simple, and you know they're gonna go your way, doesn't mean you get to invoke them when Copyright is not the issue. It's sloppy, it's lazy, it's morally wrong, and it pisses me off. But that's enough of me sermonizing. Um, I appreciate you guys listening to me ramble. I'm going to do the rest of this. Uh, I'm going to do the rest of this grinding off camera so you don't have to listen to me. And um, thanks for joining me today. Uh, like this video if you liked it. Comment if it made you think. Um, share if you know someone else would like it, and subscribe if you want to see more. If you want to support me and what I do, please check out my coffee at ko-fi.com slash with Z, and that would really help. And, uh, that's it for now, and I hope I see you again next time. Play me out, Bowman.